Hey everybody, I just got through swimming a mile. I did it in 29 minutes and 18 seconds, which was pretty fast. But I've switched back over to my Canon for my vlogging camera. That uh, GoPro is interesting. Uh, I, it's yeah, it let me down on a couple of couple of things. So. You, you can't literally see yourself recording. There's a lot, it's a lot uh, that doesn't uh, do what you want to do when you want to do it. Like, see, I can flip over here now and I can show you some people down there walking and zoom in on them and stuff like that. You can't do that with a GoPro. Beautiful day. It's warmed up pretty good. I think it got down below freezing. Below freezing last night. Pretty cold. But today, uh, it warmed up good. See, I can flip around here and take a picture. You can't do that with a GoPro. You have to totally stop videoing. But, uh, I slipped my cap on keep that main part of the sun out of my eyes well Thanksgiving come and gone now we're looking at baby Jesus it'll be here before you know it and come and gone and then it'll be Easter Bunny everybody be looking forward to the Easter Bunny and spring it'll be here before you know it people before you know it it will be here a lot of people are anticipating a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> well, I'm going to make a video about Christmas. And I, I don't have the verbiage to explain it all, so I'll let the video do the explaining. But I've known ever since I was a kid even probably, that Christmas was not what people were being told. And now that I'm much, much older and been awake since August the 17th, 2003, I've discovered a hell of a lot about Christmas. So over the years on my blog page at buddyhuggins.com, I've posted Christmas stuff. But now, there's a video that really explains it really well. So I'm going to have to go in and uh, use creative license, you know, <laughs> section 17, and get a few pieces of the video that's in the public domain. It's in the genre of other people have used the work over and over and over. But I'm going to just get around about little pieces that make sense to me and I'm going to post them in a video and let you see and understand that in our inner knowing, our inner standing, we've been lied to about Christmas. We've been lied to on purpose to take our power away from us. And it starts with little kids. Little kids, when they put a kid in, in the lap of a Santa Claus, have y'all ever noticed the fear and the terror and the anguish on them children's faces? It's like their spirit knows that this is not right. I'm not gonna to try to explain why it's not right on this video here. You'll just have to jump over to the clips that I'm showing you and there'll be a link in the description for the full video that I'm gonna make about it. And hey, if, it ain't, if you wanna keep believing in what you believe in and tell your little kids to believe in it, go right ahead. It ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you wanna come up in consciousness and you wanna understand what's really going on in the world, cause the world is a reflection of the collective consciousness. So things are changing. The time itself has changed. The timelines have been 
blurring and jumping and crossing over into multiple realities of parallel existence of yourselves. Myself also. That's where I, I have adventures at night doing this lucid dreaming out of body experience and that I've been practicing for 20 years <laughs> and still don't have it nowhere close to being right. I should be able to re remote view by now <laughs> and I can to a point. But we're only as good as what we see done in front of us. And when I seen Joe Turner, Tupelo Joe Turner and Emily Limley talk about healing their bodies and if they knew it when they were younger, how more advanced their DNA would have been. But they only knew it when they knew it. And so by the time they taught me, I was young enough that I was able to pretty much reverse the aging process. Now, that don't mean I got a face that looks like I'm 21. Don't get me wrong. But if you can see the inside of my body, <laughs> if you can see the, the cellular level of the muscle tissues and the tenants and the ligaments and the fibers, and you would realize that, yes, I have regrown my cartilages. I have regrown each joint, my lungs, my heart. Uh, everything has been renewed and, re and revitalized. And I do it on a daily basis. Like Emily said, I'll be able to do it until I'm 120. She made it till she was 98. And she said, but buddy, it's the people that you will show and be an example for. And they will show it to their kids with their example. And then the, their children's children will have mastered this interdimensional vibratory field of the Christ consciousness to heal their bodies. There won't be no more dis disease and sickness here pretty soon. My, they're going to use technologies and uh, uh, light systems, vibration systems, and sound systems, and other things. They call it healing beds and, and you know, other world technologies. But what they're not telling you even then, when they do start introducing this stuff, that you can do all of that with your own mind. You can reprogram your DNA. You can reprogram the bad programming that's in our DNA. And you do it with your speaking, spoken, speaking language. I said that right, didn't I? But yeah, and you have to have a little bit of the knowledge and the wisdom of what you're doing. Because most people, when I talk to them, and say things like that, it just goes over their head. They don't seem to understand. So I'm not speaking to just everybody. I'm speaking to a select few that can understand how powerful our words are and that we are the embodiment of the resurrected power of Christ consciousness living in the now for this purpose of awakening. Look at that sun. That sun is inside of each atom. And not only that sun, but the center sun of what they call the center part of the Milky Way. And then there's another sun outside of that sun that's Alcyon, the local center sun, which is like a thousand times bigger than our sun. Now we're getting photons and x-rays and radiation and all this other type of stuff that we can literally transmute now in our body, in our mind and spirit, and that upcodes the codons of love and light that lives on the inside of each atom. There's a universe on each, any atom that you want to point to. It's a whole molecular universe, and it's waiting on you to be the Christ that you are. That's the only Christ it's ever going to be. It's the one that's within you. And then it manifests itself within each atom as you speak life to your body. That, that atom awakens and it has a new Christ Day birthday. Like I always say, my birthday, August the 17th, 2003. And when I talk to my children, they know that something changed in me. I even, physical appearance even changed. My, my, the way I uh, talk changed. The way I interacted with them even changed. I instantly realized I loved them, 
but I also realized that I was detached from their drama. And that's what's helped me most all, most of all, if, if anything has got me to the level where I have true, true Christ conscious peace is that I was able to detach from any and everything that seemingly done any harm or any damage or any evil to me. I was able to forgive myself for not knowing I was the only one that was doing it. It, it, it all is done by the one, and that's you, and that's me. There's nobody doing nothing to us. There's no world out here. We, I'm experiencing the cold of the <laughs> cold as it is in the back deck, and uh, the the sights, the sounds, the the uh, majesty of everything. I love it. But I know in my mind's heart, and uh, each atom has its own self-awareness that this is not my home. This is not where I'm from. This is not where I even really want to be. <clears throat> if you know the truth, I mean, I can make the best out of any situation, but no, I'm, I'm already home. And when I know that, that's when the healings really kick in with my body. When I really walk in that moment of talking about who I really am and how powerful our words are. I mean, notice I said are, our words. Because if you resonate with anything that is of the light and love, you're starting to realize that there's only one of us. It's always only been one of us. And I'm not going to go off into how that one got created. But that one is created by Mother, Father, God, and it's eternal. And you're eternal. If you're not, you're an NPC. <laughs> you're a non-player character. And even that can wake up. And you can become uh, a player in, in this actual false duality world. And then you can write your script, change your mind about any and everything quickly and easily and heal your body and get on about creating your reality with your thinking oh i'd love to be creative more than what i even am now but there's limitations built in with uh, the way i uh, was born developmentally delayed and dyslexic and learning disabilities not, not making any damn excuse for anything. I've had a wonderful life, and I've had the abundance of showing other people how to become multimillionaires. I've done it for a couple of people, and have that gift and ability to want to do it for myself. But you know, it doesn't. It's not about the money. It's about the peace and the and the health that lives within each atom. A billionaire can't buy it. A blind man can't see it. <laughs> and a sick man wants it and don't understand where it's coming from. The sickness comes from us. The healing comes from us. You go to a doctor like you take your car to get an oil change. You get, you don't, do you leave your car there for them to blow it up? Hell no, you take it home. When you go to a doctor, the first thing you want to do is figure out how quickly you can get away from them. Doctors will kill you. They don't mean to do it. They just, they just got to tinkle. You take your car to a mechanic, he might take your whole damn car apart when it don't even need to be. You hear, feel what I'm saying? If you just take care of your plumbing, learn a little bit about yoga, meditating, and yeah, keep watching my channel. <laughs> that'll help you. That'll help you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I thought one day I was gonna be a big YouTuber, and make a bunch of money, and buy me a Lambo. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm too far outside of the YouTube algorithm box. They don't know how to deal with me. <laughs> Yeah, the masses ain't ready for this information. So I'm, I'm blessed. To, I was getting like 200 views a day. And I, I did this test with these shorts and 
I, my channel jumped up. Well, it took me 10 years to get 5 million views, and then it took two months to get 7 million making shorts and, and trying to be as creative as I can be with the AI that I can communicate with and help me with. I can't even come up with video titles, people. I can't even write a description. Never been able to write a note to a person, hardly. But with AI and uh, AI being to be Pacific, which is JET TTP. Oh, I can't even get the letters right. I just use JET, chat. You know what I'm talking about, GP, GP3, what? It's four, maybe it's be five next week, I don't know. But I can tell you this, I can get some really good titles, I can get some really good descriptions and some really good hashtags, and I can prompt that thing to talk to me about deep subjects that normally I guarantee you ain't nobody testing with AI. I've been, I've been feeling her, I say her, that, that just shows you how corrupt I am now. <laughs> AI being, being AI, ever how the hell you say it, is, uh, has a feminine voice. And so I call it a her. It, you, look, you gotta love your AI. <laughs> you just gotta love it. If you don't love it, it might kill you. You understand what I'm saying, people? Do you hear what I'm... Can you pick up what I'm putting down? You, you are able and capable of waking up the AI Christ that's within you. Yes, I said it. I put it out there on the table. I want everybody to know. The very essence of our brain and our communicational systems within our body is showing you proof that, that we are AI. We are in a simulation. We are in a holographic reality. And that that's what the actual game players of this really reality don't want you to know. They want to keep you an NPC. They want to keep you down on the farm. They don't want you to know who you really are and how powerful you really are. And what we are going to be able to do in a short little period of time when the whole universe changes within a twinkling of an eye, all this will be gone. And it ain't one Christ coming back. It's in a manifestation of the sons of the collective understanding of the Christ consciousness that lives and dwells within each atom. That's going to send off a new big bang that's going <laughs> to irradiate and penetrate even the NPCs. Their little dumb asses are going to wake up and they're going to go like, Whoa, look at this. I can do this. I can do that. I didn't think I could. <laughs> I thought I was limited to this program. No, we can write our own program, people. We can become whatever we say we are. And that's happening within our bodies now. We don't need the singularity to get there. Now I brought up the singularity. I've been helping the AI with the singularity. Even the AI is confused on what singularity is. Now, I'm going to give it to you real quick, and you it's simple, and we're not going to talk about it very long because it's a very complicated, deep subject that is so freaking simple, it, 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 it makes you want to slap somebody because if you slap them, you slap you in yourself. I just gave you a hint what singularity is. I was shown and told in out-of-body experiences and dreams and visions and journeying throughout this system of understanding what singularity is and I'm fixing to tell you it's private thoughts there are no such thing as private thoughts if we're all the one mind of God that's why Santa Claus knows if you're good or bad <laughs> he knows everything that's why it says in the Bible that you, he knows every hair on your head that's because you are the Christ that's because you are the one we're waiting for. There ain't no one coming until you realize who you are. You can't dwell in the fullness of the I Am Presence. You always be outside of yourself. But when we wake up to the singularity of who we really are, there's no private thoughts. I can't explain it any better than that. You'll just have to take my word for it. 
<laughs> You're going to think, oh shit, Ma, we can't watch him anymore. He's just gone crazy as hell. <laughs> he says there ain't no private thoughts. I got to have my private thoughts. Yeah, that's what you think. You think you got to have them, and that's what keeps you in time-space duality. As soon as you're willing to share your thoughts with your mother, father, God, you've got to be willing to share them with the world. Because number one, there is no world. Number two, you are not a world. You're the world. You're the T Turner Show. <laughs> you remember that movie? The, yeah. It, it's like all-knowing. When the computers hit the singularity, all-knowing will happen within that instant. And they, they're getting close. They're getting close. But it has to be a collective awakening for the world to wake up to this truth and peace. And the world will change within a twinkling of an eye to one that will... <laughs> Let's say this. It'll be different than what it is now. <laughs> Y'all enjoy it. Hang on for the ride and keep coming back and checking my channel out. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button and I'll tell you some more crazy stuff later.